today's video i am going to explain cauchy's euler equation and this topic is from linear differential equations with constant coefficients see here an equation of the form x par n d par n plus p1 x par n minus 1 d par n minus 1 plus and so on p n of y is equal to q of x see here any equation which is of this form is called cauchy's euler equation here d is nothing but d by dx derivative with respect to x this cauchy's euler equation can be transformed into linear equation with the constant coefficients with the small substitution so in place of x we have to write e par z and for log x is equal to z and here see here x cube d square should be replaced by theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 and here this is x square d square is equal to theta into theta minus 1 and x d is equal to theta so this is the small substitution if you make in cauchy's euler equation it is transformed into the linear equation with the constant coefficients and here are the examples today which i am going to give a solution and see here the first question here is d square by dx square plus 1 by x d by dx is equal to 12 log x by x square and see here the solution today is see here this is not of the form x par n d par n so x par n d par n so there is no x par n here so here the degree is 2 here we need x square so i am bringing this x square towards this side see the solution so if i send this x square to other side so this will be x square this is d square this is x square by x into d is equal to this is 12 log x right so if i cancel this for one time and see what happens here so the question here is x square d square plus x d of y see here so this is of y of y is equal to this is 12 log x now in order to transform this cauchy's euler equation into linear equation with constant coefficients so we have a small substitution that is x is equal to e par z and log x is equal to z and in place of x square d square we have to write as theta into theta minus 1 and x d is equal to theta <coughs> so if i put all these substitution in this equation see what happens this will be theta into theta minus 1 plus theta of y is equal to this is 12 what is log x log x is nothing but z so if i multiply so this will be theta square minus theta plus theta of y is equal to this is 12 square so if i cancel this plus and minus and see here this is theta square of y is equal to 12z now coming to the solution here so the auxiliary equation is according to the auxiliary equation so f of m is equal to 0 in place of theta if i put m m square is equal to 0 which implies m is equal to 0 comma 0 so these are the roots and yc can be written as c1 plus c2 here z into e par 0z so here our yc value will be see here our yc value how we have to write <clears throat> this is c1 plus c2 so what is the z value this is log x so this is log x anything to the power of 0 is 1 and this is a which is nothing but the complementary factor and coming to the particular integral yp is equal to 1 by see here only theta square so this is theta square and here it is 12z so this is 12z so if the theta or d is in the numerator we will make a derivative if it's in the denominator we will make an integration so we have to integrate this term for two times see here yp is equal to 1 by theta if i make an integration for z this will be z square by 2 so if i cancel this for six times see here again i have to make an integration of this is a 6z square so if again i make an integration so this will be 6 this is z cube by 3 so again if i cancel in three table this is 2 so yp the particular integral is 2z cube so we have what is z here so z is nothing but log x so i'm transforming it so yp value will be 2 log x 
whole cube and this is nothing but b therefore our general solution so for writing the general solution so we have so y is equal to yc plus this is yp and see here so what is yc here c1 plus c2 log x so this is nothing but c1 plus c2 log x and this is nothing but 2 times of so this is 2 times of log x whole cube and this is the final answer see properly we have to check so there is no x square here so we have to bring this x square towards the other side and make it a Cauchy's Euler equation and again using this substitution we have to transform this into the linear equation with the constant quotients and later on the process is the same and the next question here is <coughs> the second question solution is see here if you observe this question and compare with this so if it is d power n there should be x power n if it is d power n minus 1 there should be x power n minus 1 here it's imbalance so if it is d cube there should be x cube so here power n power n so in place of n if we have 3 here so this doesn't suits so in order to balance it just i'm multiplying throughout the equation with x so this is x cube into d cube plus this is 3x square d square plus xd of y is equal to again this side if i multiply with x this will be x cube log x see properly so i have to multiply the whole equation with x on both sides so this is the thing which you have to remember <clears throat> so now this is an cauchy euler equation so in order to transform into um, the linear equation with the constant quotients so this x cube d cube is can be written as theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 and x square d square is equal to theta into theta minus 1 and x d is equal to theta x is equal to e power z and our log x value will be z here so if i substitute all these values here so this will be theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 plus 3 times of theta into theta minus 1 plus theta of y is equal to in place of x if i write e power z whole cube in place of log x if i write z see what happens here so this is theta if i multiply this is theta square this is minus 2 theta minus theta 3 theta and this is minus 3 theta and minus of minus this is plus and 1 2 z 2 and this will be see here this is theta square minus theta and this is plus theta plus theta of y is equal to e power 3 z by z so if i multiply this will be theta cube minus 3 theta square plus 2 theta and if i multiply this will be 3 theta square this is minus 3 theta plus theta of y is equal to e power 3 z by z and see we can easily cancel this one minus 3 plus 3 and see here and here this will be theta cube 2 plus 1 so this is 3 theta and minus 3 theta of y is equal to e power 3 z into z now i'll cancel this plus and minus and see what remains this will be theta cube of y is equal to e power 3 z into z now in order to find the complementary factor so we have to find the roots for that the auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0 so this is m cube is equal to 0 so m roots are 0 comma 0 comma 0 then our yc value will be c1 plus c2 z z this is a c3 z square into e power 0 z so we have a substitution that so what is z here so z is nothing but log x so i am substituting here yc is equal to c yc value is equal to c1 plus c2 log x plus c3 this is log x whole square and anything to the power of 0 is 1. So, this is equation number 1. And next coming to yp. So, yp is equal to 1 by. See so here what remains? Theta cube. So, this is theta cube. And here e power 3z into x. 
so this is e power 3z into z now see here i have to replace theta by or theta with theta plus 3 as the quotient of z is equal to 3 see here so this will be e power 3z and this will be theta plus 3 whole cube into z so see here y p is equal to e power 3z if i take 3 common so if i take 3 common this will be 3 cube and if i take 3 common this will be 1 plus theta by 3 whole cube into z so y p value will be e power 3z this is 1 by 27 if i bring to the numerator this is theta by 3 whole power minus 3 into z so if i expand it for one time see here y p value will be e power 3z by 1 by 27 this will be minus 3 theta by theta into z now i'll cancel this 3 so here theta means the derivative so y p is equal to e power 3 z by 27 if i multiply with z this is z if i multiply with the derivative so this is 1 so if i transform to the original form so which one it is so here in place of y p so what is e power z so e power z is nothing but x here so i'm transforming in terms of x so this will be x cubed by 27 and what is z here so z is nothing but log x so this will be log x minus 1 this is equation b and now see here the general equation will be see here the general equation will be y is equal to yc plus yp y is equal to what is yc here i am writing the whole thing that is a c1 plus this is a c2 log x plus this is a c3 log x whole square and see what is yp here plus this is x cube by 27 this is log x minus 1 so this is the final answer and this is how we have to solve and hope you all got a clear idea on this um, cautious Euler form i will be uploading some more problems related to this and later i will be shifting to legendary equation until then stay connected if you really like you know what to do please pass it on to your friends as well and i will be waiting for your comment thank you so much